can see, I've, I have got the um, Roland JC120 um, software simulation here. Uh, we've got the 212 cabinet and I've got also um, the head. So there we are. I am using um, a little bit of reverb from this um, plate reverb here. I have also got the noise gate on and I think, yeah, I think the compressor is on as well. Um, so actually, when I'm actually going live and play, you know, direct, this is how my pedal board is set up. Um, if I'm using the RP360, so I've got a chorus here, I've got a delay here, and I've got um, the overdrive here, which is this one. So this is the chorus I use, this is the delay I use, this is the reverb I use, and this is the overdrive that I use. This is the um, compressor that I use, the Crybaby War that I use. Um, the EQ. So this is my setup for live, obviously. So that's how it works. So let me let you hear how the amp sound. It sounds like this. <laughs> sounds like and uh, I think the software version sounds very good and I have no problem using that on stage either so that's what if I was going direct to the PA this would be my setup and I can actually um, <clears throat> let you hear how the overdrive starts so if I press the overdrive on let's hear that <laughs> sounds like and if I wanted to um, let the chorus go through it this is how that would sound <laughs> yeah so that's how the chorus sound um, the delay I haven't tap tempered it, so it would sound like this as well. <laughs> That's what it sounds like there. It's not tap tempered. It. what that sounds like and that will be my setup so the I'm setting I've put up the um, the drive quite significantly because I think um, it makes the amp sounds a little bit more juicy a bit juicier to me I've rolled the, um, the bass off just from halfway um, the middle is in the middle still and the treble is just beyond halfway and uh, the volume of the amp is about three quarters of the way up so this is, as you can see here, this is my reggae rig. This is what I use on stage if I'm going direct. I will be changing this in the future because I'm thinking of getting either a Helix or one of these um, UL, the GT1000 or the Head Rusher, one of them, I don't know yet. I did try the Podgo, as I said in a previous video, but I didn't like it. So I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards the um, GT1000 because from what I can hear and what others have said, um, the, the sound of it is a bit more organic and I quite like that but this is very good though this is really really good this software um, is very good so 
um, you can try it out. You can pick up the GT1000, sorry, not the GT1000, the RP1000, RP500, RP360 for, for little or nothing these days. And you can just, you know, set your rig up on your computer like I have and just go direct to board. You got a cab there, you got a head, you got pedals, you got everything. So yeah, it's all, to me, this is, this, is, this is one way to go. <laughs> So what I will do, I'll put on the both of those, the delay and the, re, the, the overdrive. Yeah, so that's a little bit too loud for me. I'm gonna bring the level down some of the delay to about there. try you can try it if you like um, it's really good um, yeah so yeah try it try it out um, if, you, if you can get your hand on a JC 40 a JC 60 JC 70 JC 90 or a JC 120 I think it's well worth worth it so I think you should you should try it out and um, if you can get your hands on one of these um, RP pedals they're good value for money um, Obviously, the software has gone on with the likes of the Helix and others. So check those out as well if you can afford to. 